Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Drop a comment down below. If you like the video at any time, hit that like button. Really does help the channel out. Really do appreciate all of you and your responses to the last couple videos that I've made. Uh, but let's try to make this one pretty quick and short, but let's talk about the top 10 Top 10 characters for the month of July in Dragon Champions, in my opinion. Um, and we're going to start off right away with Adam. Adam is... Uh, <laughs> people think Adam is probably the worst tank in the game. Uh, he really isn't. Um, if you pair him with Instructor Gorum, uh, which we'll talk about, he's also on the list. Let's talk about his abilities real fast. 80% uh, of physical damage... Uh, to all enemies, uh, which is nice, and 40% chance to increase damage increase for two turns. Absolutely, you know, 100% great, especially for tower. Um, this is not just a top 10 video about, uh, you know, PvP or, you know, battlegrounds, that sort of stuff. It's also about other modes where, you know, like tower that do, that you get so many resources from, especially hard mode tower. And if you have a full goblins team, as I've said in the past, you can easily get through most if not all of the levels just with your goblins um, and so uh, that's why Adam is on this list uh, his second ability I don't even ever use to be honest with you I never use that ability unless there's just one person up um, his protective plates he gains shields equal to 40% of his maximum health that's why I have all health runes on him uh, and then a 70% chance to gain taunt at the end of his turn for one turn so he can constantly taunt and that's why when you pair him with Instructor Gorum, uh, he does such a good job. Number nine is Instructor Gorum. Um, big reason why he's so good and vital um, to this Goblin team. If not, I think he's probably the most vital character to the Goblin team, along with General Murdoch. Uh, but... As I've said before, his basic ability, 240% of physical damage and calls Adam to assist if he's on the battlefield. If the hit is a critical, Adam gains taunt for one turn. Hence why I have him completely set up with, um, with runes. Um, with runes that will allow him to crit as often as humanly possible. Um, I think I've got his critical hit chance almost to 70%, which tells you, I mean, you have a 70% chance just a regular taunt every turn and another almost 70% chance to, you know, taunt on a basic. And of course, he's going to um, throw out his pigs and he's going to assist um, under General Murdoch lead. So, very, very good character, uh, very awesome, once again, very, very good for tower, um, and so, not terribly free-to-play accessible, as you can see, Demons 4-6, uh, but at this particular point, I think a lot of players are getting to the point where we can farm these guys, um, and then we get on to his half henchmen, who do just amazing work, um, the henchmen when they come out, of course, and then... He gets critical damage, you know, by 40% and additional for every pig out there. He doesn't generally get a lot of pigs. He's not, he's not super, super, super fast, as you can see. Um, I only have him at 172. If I if I could speed him up really fast, then yeah, he would, you know, put out a ton of pigs all at once. Uh, all right, so let's go on to the next goblin on the list, which is number seven um, on our list today, Dr. Frank. Dr. Frank does so many great things for the goblins, uh, primarily his second ability, 300% uh, of magic damage, oh, sorry, his third ability, I apologize. His third ability restores 350% of his, of, of his damage, magic damage to the shields of all his allies so not only is it just goblins but to all of them if you if they really wanted to make it even better for goblins it would be something like you know 400 or 500 percent of his magic damage to all goblins that would be awesome but you know that's not currently what how it's going um restores health to all active allies equivalent to 50 percent of the shields restored so essentially you know 175 percent of the magic damage so pretty pretty awesome uh character awesome abilities he's got some great stuff when a goblin attacks with shock another random goblin will be called to assist if the attacker is dr frank two random goblins will be called to assist uh to assist i mean this just goes on and on sometimes uh with goblins and of course you know he inflicts shock and he inflicts daze uh, which is huge 
huge, huge for fighting against, uh, you know, Dailana, uh, who, you know, if you can put days on her, you can really slow her down. So pretty awesome. That is number seven. Uh, number eight or number six is going to be Solius. Solius just seems to stick around, doesn't he? Um, probably still by far the best healer in the game. Um, you know, with his abilities, I don't think he, he's a man who needs no introduction, uh, two abilities, um, his ability to throw up haste, uh, damage increase, tenacity increase and armor increase. I'm currently using him in my arena team. Uh, just fantastic character. Uh, I'm not going to give you too much more information about him. I think everybody knows about Solius. So number five is going to be General Murdoch. As you can see, lots and lots and lots of characters, um, lots of goblins on this list. But General Murdoch and his lead, right? Upon landing a critical hit, all allies recover 20% of their turn meter and have a 50% chance to call a random goblin to assist. Can be triggered only once per turn lots of assisting going on um and this game doesn't have like a pure daze the only character the only character in the game that has a daze that can hit everybody pretty quickly is a goblin uh dr frank so it ends up being pretty awesome uh for the goblins i think that general murdoch is one of the better characters in the game he's got a he can do 250% of all physical damage to all enemies and has a 70% chance to inflict slow. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a little under the weather, so I'm doing the best I can with these videos. Um, also, we, you know, he's got hits. It's a trap. Um, inflicts uh, damage decrease as well as inflicts slow. Um, and, of course, he does damage and de decrease again on his basics. So just trying to lower that damage that they're going to take uh, from the opposing side. And they need that because they don't have a lot of health, uh, you know, health and shields combined, about 55,000. Um, so it's a little little on the lower side compared to some of the other, uh, you know, when you're looking at the tanks here, seems kind of the same thing. All right. So where do we go on the top five? All right. There are top five player characters left, Slinger, Kara, uh, uh, Thalon and and more doom and if I have to say it right here slinger is going to be your next one at number four all right and the reason I guess I should say four characters left but he slinger is going to be your fourth character uh, he's got probably the best leadership in the game the demons are starting to fall off a little bit people are starting to realize how good Thelana is now that they reworked her uh, fixed her uh, leadership she is fantastic um, just overall, she just does so many things, but let's talk about, uh, let's talk about Slinger still an amazing character has some great, you know, great passives helps himself out. Um, right. Dealing 15, uh, deals 150 damage to all critical hits, remove, um, one buff, which is awesome. Uh, 370% of physical damage on his, on his, uh, second ability inflicts damage decrease, another damage decreaser, which is really nice. And then of course his basic, which has a 50% chance to remove the targets to, uh, me, uh, return meter by 10%. So very, very nice. But once again, his leadership is really where he shines all allied demons gain 20 percent of their maximum health every time an ally suffers a critical hit the ally recovers five percent of their turn meter demon allies recover twice this amount so they recover 10 percent and uh, you know aoe's are very very bad this is why goblins have such a hard time against slinger um, any type of slinger composition because he just they gain way too much turn meter too fast and they end up running over the goblin faction so awesome so number three is Kara Kara has been at the top of the list or am I at number three or number four I think I'm at number four I apologize number four is Kara number five is slinger number six is is general Murdoch I am so sorry, um, but Kara is number four on our list today, uh, and the reason why she's number four is because she just she's just amazing. Uh, she's been amazing from the beginning. On her basic, she gets ability block. 
She gains daze and hits all enemies on her second turn. She invises and gives counterattack to all defenders. <coughs> Excuse me. And recovers, restores 25% of turn meter to all allies. And of course, when she's invisible, she does 30% more damage. So, absolutely awesome character. Very, very, very well done. Uh, really appreciate the work that she puts in. All right. So, number three is Wonder Lula. She comes roaring back into the meta um she's been in the meta for a little bit do running her side by side with kara uh, but once again she just does so much damage 180 percent of physical damage to an enemy if the enemy has more health than wonder lula which is generally the way it is um the attack deals 225 percent more da uh, 225 percent damage instead this attack deals 50 percent more critical damage so just awesome she's so fast she's probably the fastest character in the game at two i have or 263 speed i've seen her as high as almost 280 on some other on other guys and gals accounts uh so pretty awesome uh we're looking at piercing shot 300 percent of physical damage half of the damage from this attack penetrates the shields uh guaranteeing critical hit if invisible so once again another great great ability gains invisibility and applies it to all ally healers tacticians and fighters for two turns and then of course increases increases physical damage by 20 percent and an additional seven percent for each living demon in the enemy's party so she's just a um you know a demon controlling you know like she if you're running the demon faction or, or you know a demon team or more doom uh, the dog is gonna go ahead and bark now uh that's awesome that would be aslan he loves to bark at everything um, but he, if she, she just helps against the demons, especially against more doom. Speaking of more doom, great segue into him. More doom finally slides out of the top spot and into, uh, into second place. What can you say about more doom? He's super fast. He's got dispel on his basic. Uh, he puts out the little demon henchman. He did the demon henchman did get nerfed, uh, from 80% and hundred percent. Um, you know, from you know, to fifty percent of his shields and eighty percent of his damage. I think it was the fifty percent of his shields that was what got nerfed. And he's always had you know eighty percent of the damage. So, not too bad. Um, not too bad at all. Uh, for the nerf, but it, why he's dropped is just because Thalana is so good. Um, but we'll talk about that here in a moment. Obviously, he can he adjust two hundred eighty percent of his magic damage and fix slow. Uh, armor increase, tenacity decrease, uh, damage decrease, potency decrease, and ability block for three turns. And he almost is never resisted. So I mean, just pretty awesome the reason why he's never resisted is because he gains 10 percent tenacity and potency for each living demon in the party so you put him in there with the demons and he does just amazing amazing job but the reason why he slid out of the top spot is because of this gal baby lana she is fantastic and as you can see i do not have her built for speed um i think that building her for speed is the wrong way to go she's already super fast and gets a lots of turn meter um, on her own uh, which we'll see here in a second so i think having damage on her is the way to go look at this 400 uh, 4223 damage which is certainly amazing uh, when we look at her abilities, her dirty trick is 250% of physical damage to the enemy and inflicts days for two turns. Oh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, her shadow strike ability deals 440% of physical damage to an enemy and inflicts ability uh, healing block and applies buff immunity for two turns. Holy crap. All right, let's go on to this one. This one's Blade Fury deals 270% of physical damage to all enemies. If all enemies receive damage, inflict ability block on all of them for a turn. So that one's just pretty awesome. Debuffing an enemy increases their increases the turn meter by 20% an additional 4% for each debuffed ally this turn. So she's just going to gain turn meter. Uh, by 20% an additional 4% for each debuff applied so she's just going to gain turn meter on her own now her big one is her in her leadership slot right increases critical damage chance for L's by 30% recovers 15% of turn meter upon landing a critical hit and has a 50% chance to restore one turn of a random ability 
this is where she really shines. As we've all seen, she can hit her third ability on the second turn if we get lucky, and then hit it again, and then possibly hit it again for a third time. I have seen it done. Um, it's pretty crazy when it happens to you, and it's pretty awesome and amazing when you do it to your opponent. Um, but this is why she's in the number one slot. So that is my top 10 list. We do have one honorable mention that I would like to mention, and that would be Major Shot. Uh, this rounds out the Goblin, the whole Goblin team. Uh, he does so well uh, with his blindness for two turns and healing, healing a block for two turns. He's our honorable mention. He would probably be the 11th character um, put in number 11. Sorry, once again, uh, for messing up the order, but let's go ahead and talk again. Adam is number 10. Instructor Gorham is number 9. Uh, Dr. Frank is number eight. Uh, number seven would be Solius. Number six would be General Murdoch. Number five would be Slinger. Number four would be Kara. Uh, number three would be Wonderlula. Number two would be D More Doom. And number one, Thelana. Thank you so much once again for being here and taking time to watch one of my videos. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, drop a comment down below. If you like the video at any time, hit that thumbs up button, and we will see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.